So to conclude, um, I, th I think we've created a design that delivers outstanding performance, 144 teraops for neural network processing. It has outstanding power performance. We managed to jam all of that performance into the thermal budget that we had. It enables a fully redundant computing solution. It has a modest cost. And really, the important thing is that this FSD computer will enable a new level of safety and autonomy in Tesla's vehicles without impacting their cost or range, something that I think we're all looking forward to. Yeah, I think, <clears throat> why don't we do Q&A after each um, se segment? So if people have questions about the hardware, they can ask uh, right now. Um, the, the reason I, I, I asked Pete to do just a, a detailed, uh, far more detailed than perhaps most people would, would, would appreciate, uh, uh, dive into the Tesla full self-driving computer is because it, 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 at first it seems improbable. How could it be that Tesla, who has never designed a chip before, would design the best chip in the world? But that is objectively what has occurred. Not, not best by a small margin, best by a huge margin. It's in the cars right now. All Teslas being produced right now have this computer. We switched over from the NVIDIA solution for SNX about a month ago, and we switched, switched over uh, Model 3 about 10 days ago. All cars being produced have, the, have all the hardware necessary, compute and otherwise, for full self-driving. I'll say that again. All Tesla cars being produced right now have everything necessary for full self-driving. All you need to do is improve the software. And later today, you will drive the cars with the development version of the improved software, and you will see for yourselves.